what is going on everyone welcome for the first time we're back to another DLJ works video and today is going to be a little bit more of a fun video I, I like to think that these types of videos are fun but you let me know down in the comment section below where we can talk about it and this is going to be more of a commentary video and actually we're going to be looking at an article from Smash and Magazine and if you are in the web design or development field this is a website that I highly recommend that you get acquainted with as you'll learn and it, it, as the website does a really good job in terms of providing articles information that keeps you up on the most recent web design trends news those sorts of things if you're in this field but you saw the title should I watch should I code or should I watch Netflix and, and before we even get into the article really I'm gonna go ahead and give you the answer before we even look deep into why I even want to make a video like this and, and really that really just depends on what your own personal goals are and your life circumstances and it depends on what your definition of success is why do I say that this is actually a perfect time for me to make this video because I'm actually in quarantine mode at this moment I'm, I'm highly in quarantine mode right now um, I fell down with some illness at the moment I had to actually take some time off and right now I just have a lot of spare time at this at this moment in addition to some work that I'm doing remotely for my job currently with the situation that I'm actually given but for me personally right now should I actually be watching more Netflix I I, I mean I, I'm not gonna sit up here and even to a horn that I've been sitting up here being super productive I've been knocking out like 10 videos I've been coding my tail off I've been improving and learning more JavaScript getting my HTML CSS skills up I've been designing no man I no no I, I probably knock out one video then I just want to just kind of comatose and just actually watch a movie or even play the little Super Nintendo portable that I got when Nintendo was still offering that on the market I, I to be honest with you I set one single goal try to do something productive one thing productive and then after that I just let my brain just kind of just ugh, just, just kind of drops after that okay but I, I probably could be doing more because I personally have a goal right now to where I want to be able to I would like to do YouTube full-time I would like to I would like to do not so much web design development freelancing i'm not really that's not really what i want to do my own personal goals is that i want to build a tribe i want to build a customer audience base and i want to be able to create products based on what that audience wants and i want to be able to serve that audience um by solving a problem that they have with some products and that may be through a course later that may be through like for example maybe a photoshop course or wherever the case may be it may be through trying to provide a vimeo ott resource and just trying to serve that audience with that i want to get into customer service and not do customer service in terms of doing freelance work i, I don't even want to be tied down to that um so that's just one of my goals so if i'm trying to get there depending on how fast I'm trying to actually reach that goal should actually determine how should you be using your spare time and only you can define that don't get caught up in this hustle culture you know shout out to Gary V you know you he, he makes a good point I think the biggest takeaway when I listen to Gary V is that don't cry and complain when you're stuck in the situation that you're stuck in if you're stuck there then you really need to hustle and do something about it and if you feel like you're putting in the work that's necessary to accomplish the goals that you're trying to accomplish then take take wins in that celebrate that rejoice in that don't sit up here and cry and complain though because your situation is any different that's why I try not to cry and complain when I feel I'm getting this depression and this anxiety is setting in right now I'm you know, I, I have to get, that's when I have to jump back on the computer and I have to ask myself, what am I doing to move the goalposts an inch further today? You know, one of the parts that I actually want to look at into in this article, because I'm just scrolling right now, right here on this moment. Excuse me for a sec. All right, forgive me for that for a second. I have to actually answer a text message. But one of the things that I wanted to really highlight in this particular article was this tweet that was actually said so well-paid geek JavaScript I guess that's what he specializes in he actually made this statement get home watch Netflix or do some get home watch Netflix or do more coding learning 
seems like a small decision for one night it is but multiplied over a year this decision defines your future well i mean yeah i i see what he's saying in this tweet that you know in in, in in small scheme of things you know you one night you spend one night watching netflix then the next night turns into another night you're watching netflix and then so on and so forth and then next thing you know you've accomplished nothing i, I mean i get it i guess he's assuming that that's the pathway that people are going to go down if they're deciding to on how they're trying to use their spare time and see there this this tweet needs context because that's why i gave the answer in the first place before even going down this article it depends on what you define as success you can't read this and then feel bad because you're not being productive well even if you spent your time coding why are you why are you learning coding in the first place what's the end game are you trying to use your coding skills just to get a job are you trying to build your career prospects are you trying to actually build a product and sell it to somebody why, why are you just learning code are you just learning coding for as a hobby because it's fun for you I mean, if that's the case, then th this should take no no measure. You you spend like, you know, three hours learning coding, and then you go and watch Netflix to pat yourself on the back at, or as a celebratory thing, as a celebratory result, you know? But that's why you have to define what your, your own personal goals are. What is your definition of success? We see what Chris Corrier says later in a tweet when he kind of retweets it or responds back to it i don't mind the sentiment here i'm with them on that but don't burn out just last night i had some stuff in mind i really wanted to get done on the old laptop but i was just too tired after putting the kid down so i literally watched netflix and everything will be okay all right you really have to narrow down and, and specify what your goals are in the field of web design and development and then you have to get really serious about those goals if your goals are to be to have a career to land a, a good paying position with a company you're not trying to start your own company you're not trying to use your coding skills to build a product and just solve somebody else's problem then maybe yeah you probably do need to be coding like 12 hours a day or something and even even when you're coding 12 hours a day you have to be intentional you gotta be purposeful you just can't be sitting up here coding and you're spending like you know 12 hours maybe on the same exact thing and not making any improvements that's just 12 hours that's then that you're just having bragging rights just for the fact of saying that you just worked 12 hours but what did you get accomplished in that 12 hours so I, I really wanted to bring context to this because you can't don't let anybody make you feel guilt tripped into into sitting up here talking about you wasted your time or you wasn't productive enough i actually made a video in the past somewhere on this channel you know give up your spare time for success that's what it was and but even even in that video that i made and i i can't actually remember what i said in the video i may be contradicting myself here versus in this video what i said in that past video but you once you define what your success is in a frame of time that you're trying to actually accomplish your goals what you're trying to achieve with that success is going to determine how many hours you actually spend on learning code on finishing projects yada 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 that sort of thing i think that's going to be really the true end game you have to actually figure out what are my goals and how do i define success for myself and how fast what frame of time am i actually trying to accomplish those goals am i trying to for example make a million dollars a year from coding and if that is the case, what am I trying to do? Am I trying to make a product and sell it at a high price and get a large customer base and go through that whole process in order to achieve a million dollars? You know, I, I've made these arbitrary claims myself, and that's why I wanted to really make this video because now I'm coming to a point to where I'm cutting a lot of fat out of my life. All these online ventures that I've had, all the money I dumped into email lists and not really building an email list because I didn't really have a solid audience in the first place. I didn't even know what I was going to market to this email list. So all the money I was spending on trying to maintain a monthly subscription on the email list has to go. All these online websites that I've had, these domains, the security protection, all the money I've been using for my teaching career salary and just from pulling from my family, all that stuff has to go because I really had to take time to evaluate and see, is this really necessary right now? What do I need to do before I need to go ahead and put money back into these things?
and for me right now that's validating and, and having a a secure audience having a guaranteed group of people that's going to purchase the things that i'm actually selling to them well let me actually switch that verbiage around actually having a guaranteed solution for a problem for a validated problem that i know people are having right now that's the point that i'm at once i actually accomplish that and i figure out a good product that i can create that will solve a problem that people are having a validated problem a measured problem that i know for certain that people are having then i can go ahead and probably move forward into building another website getting an email list and doing those things right now but at this moment in time I've wasted a lot of money in the past just because i've done things backwards so i'm making this video as a cautionary tale um, when you see articles like this really think about what your goals are and just work backwards work backwards make sure that you actually watch the video that you see here on this screen maybe subscribe over here I, i'm pointing the wrong way subscribe here watch this video here and i will see you guys in the next video god bless y'all thank you for watching